So this segment, let's talk about buffered solutions. So this is riding on the hills of um, acid-base and acid-base equilibria. So one thing I want to say in the beginning is to recall that pH is equal to minus the log of the concentration of um, protons, of H+. And so when you increase the concentration of protons, your pH goes down and vice versa. Okay, so what then is a buffered solution? A buffered solution is a solution that resists change in its pH, even when you add a strong acid or a strong base. So remember that strong acids dissociate completely in solution, giving you um, an increase in proton concentration, and strong bases dissociate in solution to give you a strong um, increase in hydroxide ions. Okay, so usually if a solution's not buffered, you dump in a bunch of protons, then your pH is gonna go down, making it more acidic. If you dump in a bunch of hydroxide ions, your pH should go up, making it less acidic. So how do buffered solutions manage to keep the pH in the range that you want? So basically what happens is that they react with any added protons or hydroxide ions so that these ions do not appreciably accumulate in solution. So how do we do that? Well, when you're making a buffered solution, you want to make it with a weak acid and its conjugate base. So for this first example, the weak acid will be represented by HA, in indicating that this is the proton that would be lost and the conjugate base would be A minus when you lose this proton in solution. Okay, so then if you have a buffered solution and you add a proton in H plus, it will react with the base, with the conjugate base, and so then you have the proton plus the conjugate base to give you back your weak acid. Okay, so likewise, if you added a strong base, that will give you hydroxide ions, then it will react with the weak acid, HA. So you have your hydroxide ion interacting with your weak acid to form water and your conjugate base. So this allows your solution to be what we call buffered. So let's do a little um, more in-depth example of that. So let's consider a mixture of acetic acid, which is HC2H3O2, and sodium acetate, um, which is the sodium in front, C2H3O2. Remember, sodium acetate, the conjugate base, when it's in solution, will break up into its ionic species, so sodium plus one, acetate minus one. Okay, so acetic acid here is our weak acid for our buffered solution, and our conjugate base will then be sodium acetate. Um, at some point, you're probably thinking to yourself, where does the sodium go? And if you recall from um, your understanding of just general chemistry reactions, sodium is a spectator ion. So it's just kind of around and it's important just for balancing the charge on that acetate ion. Okay, so assuming we have this mixture of this weak acid, acetic acid, and this conjugate base, sodium acetate, what happens if we add a strong acid, say HCl? Okay, so a strong acid, again, HCl is gonna completely dissociate in solution to give you protons, H plus, and chlorine ions, Cl minus. Okay, so normally you dump it into a solution, you're going to increase your concentration of protons and thereby decreasing your pH, making it more acidic. So, but this buffered solution that we have has this acetate ion, right, with a minus charge, and once we dump in our protons plus, then what are we going to make? We're just going to make more of our weak acid, acetic acid. So therefore, basically this acetate ion comes and kind of captures the protons that we put in. So there's no appreciable buildup of the concentration of protons, and therefore we don't have an appreciable change in our pH. It doesn't become more acidic in this case. So let's do the other side of that. What happens if we add a strong base in the form of sodium hydroxide to this mixture of acetic acid and sodium acetate? So again, a strong base, much like a strong acid, is going to dissociate completely in solution. So sodium hydroxide would dissociate to give us a sodium ion with a plus charge and a hydroxide ion with a minus charge. And so normally, if it wasn't a buffered solution, we dump this in to make our solution more basic or to basically increase um, the pH, right? Because an increase in hydroxide ions makes the pH go up, which makes it more basic. In a buffered solution though, again, remember here we have um, 
our acetic acid, so HC2H3O2, and then we add in our hydroxide ions, and these guys right here, this base basically, the hydroxide ion, is a better base or a stronger base than the acetate, and so it is going to remove this proton from the acetic acid to make water, and then we have acetate ion left over. So again, we still have the basic makeup of our initial solution. Right here we've got some water, and then we've got acetate ion lying around. Okay, so again, basically, um, when we dumped in the strong base, the hydroxide ions removed the proton from the acetic acid to make the acetate conjugate base, and again, our solution has not um, taken any appreciable changes in its pH. So that's pretty much the basics of um, how you do acid-base.